everybody. Hi guys, you can hear me? How's it going? So, I'm always running to catch up with myself, it seems like these days, but I guess I should just, just accept this is how the lives go. <laughs> and then maybe I would stop freaking out. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Ooh, look at this. I'm going to show you what I worked on this week. <clears throat> For those of you who watch my videos, you've already seen. I did put out one very pretty video this week. Oh, all right. Let me, let me see what's up. Let me say hi to who's here. Andy, Twisted Art Lady, Cheryl, Lynette, Judy, Tammy, Mama Five Cat. I'm, I don't know your first name. Sorry. Um, Vandana won't be here today. She's busy taking beautiful photographs. So we don't get her lovely presence today. But... Um, it's nice to see you here, Jonelle, D and D Art Gallery, and um, Andy, of course. Andy, I tried to add those gel pens to my site, and I don't. I guess uh, Artesm doesn't send sell them through Amazon. You have to buy them. Uh, I do have an affiliate link though that I in my description box if you're interested, so you can buy them that way. Um, hey, little Lulu. Gina, Lori, the most crazy is here. Hi, Winnie Hamilton. I wanted to show you this pretty alcohol ink piece that I did. Look at that. This is, I've been kind of working on alcohol ink lately just because um, I finally got an air purifier and without it, I really wasn't able to do alcohol inks without being in a lot of distress let's just put it that way so um of course if you saw my video this is the one that i put out yesterday thank you annette hi brenda so nice to see you isn't this a pretty one too very light and elegant and i love the way that one turned out i love the way both of those turned out and uh, the colors were extremely inspiring to me. Um, hold on a sec. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys are totally, totally ready today. It's just one of those days. But. Look at, I got this cool, I'm going to do it right here on camera for you guys. I got this new stamp. So this stamp's now going to go on the back of all of my canvases and all of my pieces of art, along with my signature, of course. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now I got a cool stamp to put on the back of my work that says Heather Mater Art. I think that is so clever. Yeah, I really like this piece though. It's still available. No one has bought it. And the next one. Yeah, pretty fancy, huh, Janelle? <laughs> Lori, I got it through Amazon and you can just um, basically personalize it with a logo. Now here's this gorgeous piece. 
I am so, so in love with the way this turned out. I want to show you all of the beautiful, wait, I'm trying to get it on camera here. These ones are, I don't know, I can't even explain how pretty it is. It's hard to see. It's getting darker. Now it's dark here. Literally just a week ago, it wasn't dark at five o'clock and now it is because of the time change, but it's not pretty. All these beautiful little delicate. Now I'm going to, I've been thinking about putting vines on here because this is my issue with Upo paper. I don't know if you guys have used Upo paper, but I've been using, aw, thank you so much. You're so awesome. Um, my issue with Upo paper is that when you try to clean off little specks of alcohol, it creates like this weird shiny ghost image. It's on, See that on there? It almost looks like an oil spot, but what it is is like the top layer of Upo has been um, you know, scraped away or something. So I have that one little spot right there. Now I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put some branches in here to cover that up. So I don't know, like, you know, I'm new to alcohol inks and I am not impressed with the Upo compared to the graphics um craft plastic i just that graphics craft plastic is amazing you can just wipe off anything <laughs> so for someone like me who's still making a lot of mistakes you know ooh, i'm just giving you a little preview of the the tray and I want to show you the paintings we made last week. Hi, Kristen. Nice to see you here. Hi, Tara. Very nice to see you here, too. All right, well, the first one, if you follow me on social media, you've already seen it a thousand times. But for those of you who don't, here is the final result. Oh, isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh. I just think it's so pretty. Whoops. This one, I, I think it was a total fluke. You know, like that first timers thing where you just do something and it turns out good the first time. <laughs> I really think that's what happened with this. Um, this is an 18 by 24. And of course, it just sold. I mean, it sold within minutes of posting it, truthfully. I knew it would. It's just so pretty. I mean, it's just really, it's very special. Um, you know, we could see that when it was happening, it was very special. Sometimes you just get those really special ones. Now, the second, um, yeah, they dried amazing, too. Very vibrant, but that's a lot of the paints I use. You know, golden, I use a lot of those, and the primary element pigments, and so. I use a lot of Arteza on that one, too. And then uh, the second one I did, if you guys remember, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it because there were some spots I didn't like. Um... This is how this one turned out. And it's also very pretty. But I ended up doing a lot of balloon rolls to this one. And it creates a lot of movement. Now, for this one, I can see embellishment. Like, my mind already has been just working on all the different embellishments that I could do on this one. I even talked to Sandra Lett, maybe. And she said she loved it and she would be willing to embellish on it as well. So, yeah, this one's very dynamic, lots of movement, lots of flow. So, this is also an 18 by 24, but it has the, um, you know, the high sides on it, the three inch sides or whatever, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch gallery wrapped sides. So that's what happened last week. This week, we don't have any 
new uh, products to show. I didn't have any products. Um, I'm doing a kind of a special Christmas thing though, and I'd love to show you that, um, but you'll have to follow me on Instagram because I, I just keep posting little video clips of it there, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, Lucia. Lucia, I, it does need something in the white space, I agree, and that's why I keep thinking of, I don't know, my mind has been on butterflies because I thought I could almost do some alcohol inks over the top of it. If you guys have seen some of my videos, I actually have alcohol inks over the top of my pores, and uh, so I've been thinking, my mind has been working about that too, what if I did some of those pretty little flowers? Um, oh, hi Sharon, nice to see you here. Oh, Kristen, you don't have Instagram? You can follow me on Facebook too, or get on Instagram, it's really easy. Um, this is an 18 by 24 canvas, I'm amazed at how small it looks on camera. But, <laughs> I just thought I would try, i just been in the mood to do another bigger one, so I'm going to do that. And because I'm running a little behind, whoops, I'm going to do, I'm going to have to put the little nails in for you guys right in front of you. That's just the way it's going today, so that's what we're doing. Did I deliver the big painting? Um, so I'm trying to figure out right now how to do that because the shipping on the giant painting is going to be $200. So I'm wondering if the client might want me to actually uns get the, the back unstapled from her painting and then roll it up and mail it to her that way. So that's kind of we're in discussions right now if that's a good plan. Um, so I'm trying to think, you know, that might be a good plan. To just reduce the shipping cost because that's just so much. And I, you know, she expected it. She knew it would be a lot. But the thing is, the packaging is also just really intense for a giant painting. This painting is 36 by 48, and um, it's just really, it's a big, it was a big commission. There'll, there'll be a beautiful video coming out for that. I recorded everything. If you guys can believe it, I did a 36 by 48 dip. Oh, I like these tacks, Bobby. I use the jumbo ones, but these are like the mid-size ones. I actually really like these a lot better because um, they don't hurt my hand as much and they're a lot less expensive. So they come in a bigger container with a lot more for a lot less and they work just the same. So I really like these. The size is great for me. So... Um, why would you want to take down your painting because it was that size? I'm just curious. I know my gloves. See, here's the thing. I have fat hands, but <laughs> they're little. I've always had like kind of little, little hands and they're, my fingers aren't very long, but so I need the large gloves for the fatness of my hands, but I need the the length of the small ones, but I mean, what are we going to do here? All right, so you guys saw the tray, right? Um, I mixed up this luscious chocolate brown, and I'm thinking of doing something with that. And this is a, let me just stand this up right here really quick. This is a Burnt Umber by Golden. This is, a, or I'm sorry, Raw Umber by Golden. And, wow, I don't have any flow troll right here at all. That was crazy. How is that even possible? Okay, we'll hope that this is the right consistency. 
see a flow chalk. Hi, Peppermint Paints and Gwen. If I missed you, I'm sorry. But this is basically, ugh, it's just filled with little things. Let's see if any of those work out. And if they don't, I might have to skip this whole. But this is how I mix most of my paints today. I just took the raw umber. I mean, I just took the uh, heavy. This is how I mix my heavy body paints today. With some flow trawl. About 50-50, honestly. And then I'm going to add some water. Um, not in love right now with this flow trawl I'm seeing. So... Hi, Wendy. You did not miss us. We are right here. I usually paint for like an hour. It usually takes me like 15 minutes or so to get through all the first parts. Today we didn't have any um, extra products to look at or anything like that. So it didn't take as long for us to get through the first part, but I did have to mix this color. So. Yeah, hi Shelly. Hi Selena. Are you guys on live chat? Because I see some of you kind of answering questions or talking about things that happened a few minutes quite a few minutes ago. I just want to make sure if you're not on live chat, there's a instead of top chat mode, you should get it on your on the different mode because then you'll be right along with what's happening. Sometimes if you go out as well and come back, that's another way to get right with what's actually happening. With I mean, there's always a delay, but this is, makes a smaller delay, I guess is what I'll say. Oh, Janice, I'm sorry. You know, um, I'm, I always, it's always Pacific time. So we're always, you know, three hours from the west or the east coast. I'm right on the west coast. You can always think of me as the same time as whatever LA is. So I'm on LA time, west coast time. And um, today I noticed a few people showing up one t and two hours earlier. <laughs> so I try to catch that if I can. I'm usually busy mixing paints and doing stuff. Today I was watching Master Chef though, so I'd like to say it was like a really big important thing that I was doing that caused me to be a little late. <laughs> but oh gosh, honestly, it's because I was watching Master Chef Australia and I just love that show. Probably being a chef too, um, you know, I get pretty inspired watching other people be inspired by food. But I think they're so nice on that one, the Australian one especially. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind Ramsey like yelling at people either so, and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you just don't want to, sometimes you just need something a little kinder. And the MasterChef Australia is good. Um, honestly, um... Master Chef Australia, honestly, my favorite food to cook. That's a really hard one because I love, man, I love all kinds of different cuisines. And as a personal chef, um, I've cooked everything you can imagine. And I've had clients that were Indian and clients that were Mediterranean and clients that were Middle Eastern. And a lot of times they ask me to cook some of their favorite dishes. So it's pretty pretty cool I've ended up cooking a bunch of different cuisines in life and just a ton of different diets and um, so that's definitely something I've done all right here's the color tray today so the thing about the colors a lot of these are colors that were mixed up last week and the week before and the week before, but 
The new colors I just mixed with plain Floetrol. You saw me just use a little bit of Aussie Floetrol because I don't have any other Floetrol right now. I don't know why I didn't realize I was out or whatever, but um, so it wasn't the intentional necessarily, but I just mixed this burnt umber with um, just Aussie Floetrol, a little bit of Aussie Floetrol because I had to. But this is what we're looking at today. And <clears throat> what I'm trying to go for initially is I really want to work in the brown because uh, I have this lovely big huge vat of chocolate brown I mixed up I want to do brown and with some of these earthy colors I think and then the second painting we'll just see what happens we'll see where I go with that because I usually like to do a couple of different um, color patterns but Let's bring this bad boy back down here. All right. I appreciate all of you being here tonight. It's nice to see you. I'm gonna mix a little bit of water with my base paint real quick. I think it's a little thick. What are you guys up to tonight? Just coming to hang out with me? Oh, Selena, I'm so glad you're here. I usually, I do like to tie a nylon. Well, look at that. <laughs> I do like to tie a nylon into um, the flow chop bottles. I think that works really well. But... I get my and I don't always take the time to do it and then sometimes I just pick things out of there and usually when I'm mixing the paints is when I end up kind of picking some of that stuff out. Sorry you'll hear all the creaking. My, my chair is really about to go. I won't be surprised if I'm just sitting here one day and I'm, I just fall on the ground. <laughs> It's not terrible, but it's it's true. I have a stool that I sit on. Comfy, comfy, low stool, low to the ground. So, it does look like melted chocolate, doesn't it? Brenda, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another um type of a blowout but um, I was you know informed by several people that what I did last week was not a Dutch pour which was fine so even though I called it my first Dutch pour um, it was not I, my paints are way too thick for the actual Dutch pour technique and I also don't cover my paints with white so you know officially what I did last week was a blowout and I don't do very many of those, so I thought I'll try again. And let's see. I know it's just hard times. I, I'm sorry for you guys having hard work weeks. It's hard times. We, we live in a very, very challenging time right now. It's pretty amazing. Many of us in our lifetimes haven't seen anything like what's happening in our world. And so it's nice to have a place to come. Um, I don't talk about too much politics, and I don't, I'm not talking about what's going on in the world necessarily. I like to just talk about, um, you know, the painting helps me relax and think about all the other parts of, all the good parts of life, because there's a lot of things going on that are challenging, and I don't know about you, but this week I've had a few moments of like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to explode with all the stuff that's going on. And then, and then I painted. <laughs> and for those moments while I'm painting, I just don't think about anything but what's happening 
on the canvas or the paper and I just feel so relaxed. I'm so happy. And I think that's why it's very therapeutic and I think that's why art therapy is a thing. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing I was thinking about was, you know, I think that's why I sound so peaceful on my videos. Someone told me once, oh, you know, you're just putting that on, you know, that I sound that way. Oh, you put your video voice on or whatever. But the truth is, when I make my videos, I try, I usually record everything in one or one take, pretty much one or two takes. And um, I'm really thinking about the painting and it's peaceful. <laughs> And it's just very peaceful for me, and that's one of the reasons why I sound that way, because it's just a very peaceful process, so. All right, let me find something here to wipe my hands on. I agree. I think mixing paints is definitely very therapeutic. In fact, today I was in there watching... Okay, I'll tell you my story. I was in there watching MasterChef, and... Australia and all of a sudden it was almost time for me to paint and I'm like oh my god I have no idea what I'm gonna paint I because I, I was mixing paints but watching something else and suddenly I just realized my time was up and you know when I'm mixing paint that's when I'm thinking about my project a lot of times I'm thinking oh you know this is this is the time when I'm thinking about what colors I want to use, what colors interplay with each other. I gotta put a little bit of water in this, so guys. Just need a little bit of water. It's too thick. But that's when I start really thinking about the painting and what I'm gonna do. Gloria, you know, I find I don't get to paint very often now either. A lot of times it's just on my lives um, with actual acrylics. But what I do on the days that I don't have time to mix paint or clean up the mess or I don't have any drying space or whatever is I do little watercolor doodles. I do little alcohol ink doodles or um, charcoal. I just try every day to do something. And I, I just watched this YouTuber who was talking about that. He said his art coach told him that his art coach said do something every single day do the same thing actually he said do the same thing every day for a year and that sounds insane <laughs> but what happens is you get to the point where you begin to crave just like exercise or whatever you know how you do exercise and then pretty soon you don't feel right unless you do that exercise. It's the same with creativity, I find. If I just do it every day, then I crave it. I need to do something. I have to. And it relaxes me. And way more relaxing than like just watching a movie or watching a show on TV or, um, you know, well, listening to music is pretty awesome, so I can't compare it with that, but. Oh, uh, hi, Kim. I'm making you hungry. I'm sorry, but thanks for coming anyway. <laughs> All right, we're going to put a little base coat. This is just white paint. There's nothing special about it. I think I just, I really like the artist loft. You know, a lot of people use a lot of different white paints, but just for the basic um, there's a little yucky piece from Floetrol, but just for the basics, I do like that white, uh, just a basic base layer. It's great for that. Oh my God. You guys are going to make me use these pinks. If you don't stop talking about raspberry sauce and chocolate, <laughs> uh, I'm going to want to do that. Let me see if I can get. I have some pinks and um, reds actually mixed up too, but I'm, I want to try this orange combination and then maybe the next one, I have a lot of that chocolate left. So then maybe the next one we'll try. 
my hand, my left hand is just stupid. It, it doesn't know what to do. It's really, really, it has no idea. I really actually wanted to leave a space around there like I did last time, um, but I forgot I got to chatting. So, uh, unfortunately, I, sh I know, that's too bad that I did that. It makes me want to scrape it off, but I'll just trust in the process for now. Okay. Let me just move this around a little bit. Just to see how flowy. See, my paints are extremely thick, you guys. Look, I have this just tilted really far. And it's just, they're not moving at all, so. I did add some water from last week. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Okay. Deep breath. Let me think about this for one second, you guys. brown is so pretty you guys it's the chocolate shimmer um from the porage posse paints by christina welsh and so it doesn't show on camera but there's just like a little tiny shimmer in it just very delicate nothing nothing too metallic that's really pretty little shimmer Diego and Maya. Hello. Okay, here we go. That's really thick, this one. I'm gonna actually, that this is the raw umber by Golden. I just mixed up and it's really thick. I, I need to just, just a tiny bit add some water to this one. Okay, this seems a little bit better. Now that's black. I don't want to put much black on there, truthfully. Um, and then we're going to go with the golden bronze. The brown is scaring you? Well, you know, don't scare me with your fear. I gotta, I wanna try. I've really been wanting to try this, so let's just see. Let's just see what happens. I don't know. This could be a regret. I don't know. Sharon. Sharon and I have been trying to figure out how to make, um, a giant airbrush so I could do a giant airbrush flower like the flowers that I do and I've been trying to figure that out <laughs> because I really want to do that oh I love this orange it's just so so pretty this is the modern masters orange 
and um, it is so gorgeous. I love it. Now I can see on camera that this is not uh, very centered, but oh well. I guess in real life things are not perfect. And if I try to, uh, you know, if I try to move it now, we're, I'm gonna have trouble. I can see, so I'm gonna leave it and see how it turns out. Maybe I'll just take that into account when I blow it, you know. They make a gun for spray tanning. Tina. 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 <laughs> that. Okay, you're blowing my mind right now. I, I, you, I think you can control that, right? See, I need something you can actually like control the flow on. That's my issue. I could just use like, I looked at a dog um, grooming, um, what's that, a dog grooming hair dryer thing. It was really powerful. So I need something that has a lot of power, um, not like just a blow dryer, but I also need something that I can actually control the flow of. I know, that's the problem, is I don't have, like, a handy husband about that's just gonna... Like, my dad, man, when he was alive, I would have told him any art thing I needed, and that man would have figured it out. I'm telling you. He just would have been like, oh, you need a da-da-da? Okay. All right. And then, like, a week later, he would have said, hey, Heather, um, why don't you come out to my, uh, my shop, and I just want you to look at this and see what you think. <laughs> and then he would have had like some amazing thing built. That's kind of how my dad was, but my dad built airplanes. Some of you probably remember I, I wrote a poem and showed some photographs of him. Um, but he, so he built airplanes. So he was, he loved to build things and tinker with things and all that. So hi, Angela. So the tanning guns don't have much power. Yeah, it's too bad. Because that sounded like a possibility. Yeah, I need something with like a lot of power and I can control. This looks like a 70s painting, you guys. I'm looking at this and going, oh my gosh, this is so 70s. <laughs> this is so 70s. I like need, I need a pop color in here too, for sure. Let's put some gold through here too. So I did sunburst yellow, hands of yellow, um, quinacrid uh, nickel azo gold, quinacridone um, orange, and I'm go also gonna put a little bit of this white. I know I came from the seventies, so I really. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, it is almost Thanksgiving. I should, I'm gonna rename this the turkey, the turkey blowout or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta play with the YouTube. They, they only show your videos if you're relevant and I guess this could be relevant if I just changed it to the turkey blowout. Oh my gosh. Now, here's the question. Do I add just a pop color, like some crazy color that's... <sighs> Let's see, if I add red, red and yellow make orange, so that might be okay, because I'm going for oranges. So I could add red, but then I risk getting pink, too. Um, you know, whenever you put red and white together, then you end up potentially having pink and... That's never, I, if I'm doing pink, I purposefully do pink. I usually try not to get it on accident because it never makes me happy. There's some weird thing in here. Turquoise, yep. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing because I, I'm, I'm thinking, now the problem with turquoise is it's possible that I'll, I will get some, um, 
green with the t with the turquoise and the yellow. So I'm going to put the turquoise as far away. This is my plan. I'm going to put it as far away from the yellow as possible. Sometimes there is a little bit of method to my madness, even when it looks like I have literally no plan. Most of the time I don't, though. Okay. I'm ready to try this. I'm going to set the paints over. Maybe just because... Here's going to be my unexpected color, that right there. That's the periwinkle from last week. That'll be my little unexpected pop right there. We're going to see what happens. This is a lot of colors on here. And um, now you just never know how that's going to turn out. The thing about the airbrush that makes it so special is this little button right here. And as you move it up and back and forth, it controls the amount of air that comes out there. So I can literally make it just very, very soft and gentle, or I can make it very forceful. So that's the reason I like using an airbrush. And I was just thinking, I just want to do like a huge flower you know, those white and black flowers I do. I just want to do a huge one of those on a huge canvas. <laughs> and I've just been trying, racking my brain to figure out how. All right, let me grab my little tool here. Whoops, I just got paint on my nose. See, the thing is, <clears throat> I have one of these, but it's, it, there's hardly any air comes out of that thing. That's what I noticed. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Oh, I need this, I need the nozzle part of this. Let me, I just realized that's important. Try taping part of the nozzle. Oh my gosh. The thing, okay, what I'm trying to say to you guys though is, if I just put this on here, and even if I taped it to be smaller, let's say, I can't control the air. And I think maybe that's the thing that you don't realize when I'm doing those flowers. I'm like using a motion with my finger that's controlling the, the, den the, the force in which that air is coming out each time I stroke like that. So that's where the issue is with just using like a blow dryer or something. Oh no. Let's see. Hi Donna. Okay, time to blow. buildup you know that's one thing I hate about these is like all that buildup and then at the end you're like hmm I don't know I definitely don't love this part at all 
And all those colors we put in there, they just kind of disappeared. So let me do this real quick. This is how I'm going to see if I can fix it real quick. I'm going to scrape this part. And how am I going to pick that up? Hi, Clara and Tish. Hi, Tish. You're watching me uh, mess up and try this technique again, and it's just bizarro. This is like, we called it like the Thanksgiving, the turkey pour or whatever, but I don't know. It was like the Thanksgiving colors or 70s something. Probably not my favorite combination here, but there's still time. Like, you know me, I never just give up on a painting completely right away. I usually don't. I usually think, well, I'm going to at least try to fix this and see what is what I can do. That's one thing, you know, I don't give up <laughs> very easy. Certainly not without a fight. <laughs> The thing I did on this one, and I, I realize now, is I just went way too far into the brown. So I brought way too much of that brown in. And now what I'm going to do is um, pop some of the white in here. And let's just see if I can do it without disturbing every single thing. I think the other mistake I made that I didn't do the last time was, remember I told you I left that space between the two colors. Oh my gosh, I keep getting these little, this is why. This is why you need something, to, a nylon to cover your flow trawl, people. But I didn't leave that little space between the two colors like I did the last time. And unfortunately, anything we're still I'm still trying to figure this one out but let me layer some colors right here you can at least see now that you just got here what colors we did I'm gonna do them really fast um, in as well as I can remember and it was burnt umber black which I'm thinking I might no I'll, I'll put black in I'll put a little bit of black in and then I just started going through all of the oranges. The thing is, is now I know what I want. This part will probably turn out really good because I know I need some of those um, other colors that I didn't put in here, like stronger, like the orange and the yellow. That's the Indian yellow. And then I did, uh, oof. This is a sunburst yellow by Primary Elements and Christina Welsh's um, yellow. And then I did gold, bronze, oh my gosh, gold, and I did bronze, let me find it. And then I did the, the surprise. Oh, I did a little bit of the white. 
<clears throat> which I really didn't need, but I'm gonna just keep to what I did the first one so it kind of matches the rest. And then on the, the tail end out here, you see that this is where I feel like I made the mistake is I needed to go back far enough to bring in some of those turquoise colors, but I'm gonna try to do it with the airbrush here in a minute. There's a little pop color, it's that periwinkle. And then, um, I don't remember if I added that copper or not, but we're just gonna do it for, for fun. And that was all the colors. Now let's try this again and see what we can get. I know I do need to cover this part up though. This definitely has to have paint on it. I see a little piece of something right here too. Ugh. This is what happens when you use the paints. I think some of these paints have been used for like three weeks, four weeks or something. My paint is really, really thick. It's super thick. Hi, Mo. Okay, let's try this again. I just want to take some of this blue and bring it up in. The thing about the blue, these paints are so thick, you guys, it's ridiculous. It is really pretty. So I'm not terribly mad. Let me come around here and give you another little view. So I'm going to try to pull the blue into some of this area. Ah, I hit that area and I really didn't want to. Some people not, might not like that little thing, but I actually... So, okay, here's my thoughts. I should have blown the white out and I think if I do it now I might ruin it actually I don't care I really don't <laughs> I'm gonna try it just because I don't like this painting and I probably will end up changing it so I'm just gonna play around for a second Interesting. So this is not my favorite. 
what should we do with this? So what do you do with a painting that you don't like? I mean, this is not my style. I don't love, I'm not in love with the color blending. Um, I could scrape it, I could do a swipe, I could do balloon rolls, I could do a dip. Just like a giant plastic wrap dip. That sounds fun. The paint might be too thick for a swipe, but it won't be if I use a thin swipe color. So let's let's try this. I got I got to see what will happen. So let's put some of these pop colors, okay? So some of the pop colors on here. Just 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 uh, okay, now we're just in like hanging out fun mode. I didn't like what I did. Now it doesn't matter what I do cuz I'm probably just going to scrape it off anyway, right? So let's just do whatever we want to do. I really like that blue. That was one of my favorite parts. So I'm going to add more of that. Um, obviously we're going to get some greens from this. This might, we might be able to turn it into like a beautiful background for something. You know what I'm saying? So I really liked this yellow a lot. This Indian yellow is so pretty. And I am gonna leave that one big white space in the center too. And then I'm gonna add some black. I'm gonna add black, particularly around the edges. And we're gonna see. Like this could be terrible, it could be amazing. You just never know when you do something like this, like how it's gonna turn out. Um, but what difference does it make if I'm gonna scrape it anyway? Right? Just, oh wait, let's, let's do a little pop of that color. This is like Jackson Pollock fun or whatever. <laughs> When I scrape, I do not keep the paint and reuse it because I hate the color that it makes. It makes this really dull, ugly sort of gray that makes me sad. Um, so no, I don't. I just figure that I don't scrape very many paintings anymore. I usually find a way to save them. So I'm, you know, in general, I don't do that. So. I'd say maybe one out of every 10 I scrape or something. I might scrape a part off or something, but so, you know, I, I feel like I'm at that place where I can afford to really <laughs> just let it go. But even when I started, if you guys watch my old videos, I scrape stuff all the time. And if you look at the, my board used to just have like a, an inch layer of thick paint on it. So it's not like I never scrape paint. I think that that's how you learn. And then in the end, you don't scrape as much paint because you took the time to really learn. All right. It's touching almost everywhere here. I've just kind of lightly pressed this plastic on it. This is called a reverse dip for those of you who don't know. I'm sure every one of you knows already. But this is called a reverse dip. And basically I'm dipping the canvas but in reverse using plastic wrap. So this is what we're doing. We're going to pull it off, like Ron said, like Fiona. So you gather all the four corners. And you don't pull up anything you don't have to until the very, 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 very end. <laughs> the 
This is crazy. I never thought I would be doing this on a live. I can tell you, this is true experimentation right here, you guys. You'd, you're just getting me. I'm just in one of those moods. I just don't care. If it just doesn't turn out, I'm just, I'm like fine with it. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, you know, it could be so pretty. You just never know. Like this center part, let's see. What could I do? I am getting some pretty cells right here from the gold that was in there. I don't know. It just looks like a reverse dip, you know. It's kind of what it is. And some of this, I mean, it might turn really, it might be really pretty. Let's see. I have a lot of paint right here in the center, though. I'm going to take some of that off with the balloon. I usually do like to use is um I like to use some of the what's that stuff called oh, this is so crusty it's ridiculous ah. um I like to use what's that called oh my gosh I'm just having a total brain fade right now Oh, the high flow. I like to use the high flow pearl sometimes when I'm doing this. And if you guys, there was a, and there was one I did, a cloudy painting I did, where I just used the high flow and I just like added it. Let's see. This is high flow pearl, by the way, by Golden. High cause creations. Cause Creations is here. Ooh. So y'all getting to see me just do whatever right now. I can't even really believe I'm doing this on a live. This is the kind of stuff that I would do in private. <laughs> and then, and maybe or may not, I may show somebody if it turned out, but maybe not. I don't know. Let me tie a new glove here because this one is just, it's on its last leg and I, I can't. I can't work with it. So I just put like a, uh, some rings of high flow pearl around there. And we're just gonna see if we can, with some balloon rolls, and I wanna see if I can just get a little bit more lacing happening um, right there. Now, the second painting we do, I won't be so haphazard. I'll, I'll take a little more care in the colors. These were really experimental. And I, I just been craving brown lately for some reason. So um, I'm going to bring you in a little bit. Let's see if I can bring you in just so you can really see. There's so many fractals happening right here. It's crazy. Let me see if I can uh, put this glove on. Sorry. All right, I have a new balloon. <laughs> wow, the fractals on this are crazy. So, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to draw our attention towards the center, and also just build some interest that way. And some of these. Um, Some of this high flow is going to make a really pretty pearl. <laughs> There's almost just too much paint on the board. I don't know.
All right, now the last thing. Oh, my, my glove just died. Honey, my glove died. Let me do this one. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. This painting is, is what you call a flop. I'm gonna show you all the parts though. There are some pretty parts, like I really like that part. It might be fun for, um, you know, like a background for something, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna scrape it though. I'm definitely gonna scrape this one. I don't have a spinner big enough. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. Um, I guess the very, very last thing I could do, and this is like, when in doubt, the last, what's the last thing that you can do with something? You guys should know this already. The very last thing you can do, if there's nothing else left to do, and you have tried everything you can try, and you're just about ready to scrape it off, what's the last thing you can do? Does anyone know? Swipe, that's right, swipe. Swipe it, that's the last thing. So that's the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that right now to see if we get any cool effects. And then we're done. Then we scrape because there's nothing left to do. <laughs> Run, <laughs> mash it on the wall. All right. All right. So here's the last possible thing we could do. Let me. I'm going to bring you out so you can kind of see. I can't actually. My hands are covered with paint. All right, here we go. The one thing is, at this point, you should just kind of have a reckless abandon. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. And this is why I never give up. This is why I never give up. Gosh, it's so pretty. This is kind of what you should have some reckless abandon because at the point when you have reckless abandon, when you don't care, that's the point in which you start to let yourself go and just try anything. So that's so, so, so pretty. my gosh, you guys. So all I did was I took the black paint and I, I just had a little bit of black, black paint left. Now, one of the reasons you're seeing the cool effects right here is from that high flow. Remember I, I, I put that high flow in this, this, in this spiral pattern. So that causes some of those really neat effects right there. But anyway, I took the black paint and I need a tiny bit more of it right up here actually. And I added literally one little dollop of the Aussie Floetrol and then water. And that's what caused uh, some of the beautiful lacing that you see. I just didn't wanna do a swipe because it seems like I did a lot of swipes, not last week, but recently I've just done a lot of swipes. And um, I'm going to just put a little bit more up here because there's not a lot of paint. There's not a lot of black paint right there. Let's try again. So this is where your knowledge comes in, you know, where you 
Let me move this down a little bit so you can see where you know you can manipulate things using certain paints and certain um, products to kind of help perpetuate something, which is what I did here. I know that Osti Floetrol can give some really cool effects. And I also know that the high flow is really pretty when you swipe it. The high flow, I don't, I don't use it enough anymore. I guess it was just like something I did in, in the first part of my, um, my painting career a lot. I, I really, really did a lot of fractals and, um, I did a lot of high flow work, so I just kind of stepped away from it a little bit. But it is really fun to use. All right, so <clears throat> let me move you out a little bit. Let's see if you can. Oh, that did nothing. Hold on. <clears throat> so I chose black because. Let's see if you can see the whole thing. There we go. I chose black because it's a dark dramatic color and we already had all that white. So I could have chose any color to do that with. Just, I would have to try to think what colors go with everything. And black and white is really safe. Now we've lost a little bit of this right here. Um, because, like I said, there's a lot of paint right there, and the, and the high flow is very, very thin. So I'm just going to use my trusty little swiper, and I'm going to just pull some more through here like this. Personally, I like a lot of different um, lines, and I know some people like to just pull straight through, straight down in one way. I like a lot of swooping lines. Uh. Pretty interesting. I like how little bits of yellow pop through here and there. It's really pretty. Let me show you guys. A lot of little interesting parts right here. This part right here has been a little, it's a little dry. So I'm going to sweep through that again, even though I love it and I don't want to, but I've got to sweep through that again. Okay. So, you know, this is, I loved it when I first swiped and now I'm like, eh, just looks like a swipe to me. I don't know. This may not be my painting. You know how you have some of those paintings that are like, they're just not your painting, but. The question is, could I do something more with it? The pearl here is just ghostly. I love the look of that pearl. It makes me just want to do a little bit more. Oops. This is like old style Heather Mater art right here. <laughs> this is something I would have done in the beginning. Yeah. High flow is, um, I have a whole 
series on dendrite and fractals. And if you guys watch that, um, I have a playlist and it's called fractals and dendrites. And basically it goes over the high flow, but in detail, but it's a very, very thin, very watery paint by golden. It comes in this bottle with a squeeze top to it. And, um, it causes all these amazing fractals. <laughs> you guys, I can't stop playing. <laughs> I can't. I really, I really just can't stop playing with this. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, part of it is and I'll just be honest, when I do the lives, I really feel like I should be doing something amazing every time. But the problem with that is I don't give myself permission to just play. And it's really an important part of painting um, is just the time to be playful and not care about the outcome and, um, and because I'm doing it live, I feel like I, I need to make something beautiful. You guys came here to see something beautiful, right? So that's part of it for me. Uh, thank you. I'm so glad you, some of you can still find like value in this part. You'll see though. So I might just let this dry because of the the way that the um, the high flow dries is dramatic. It's beautiful. Um, thank you. I'm glad that you just came to see me play because I, I really just was in, I guess I'm in that mood today where I just wanted to play around. And I still want to do one more painting, but really quickly. Oh, I don't have a balloon. This is so tragic right now. I don't have a glove and I don't have a balloon. And they're really hard to, oh my gosh. I don't have anything I could use. I have nothing I could use, nothing. I'm gonna leave the fractals. I was thinking about doing more actually. The thing that makes the fractals um, really intense is you put them on a, they're watery and if you put them on a watery base then they just fractal out. Thank you, Stephanie. You guys, if any of you are enjoying the lives and videos that I put out, please support the channel. It's, it's important and I appreciate all of you who donate to the cause. There is a donation uh, link in my description box and helps me cover the cost of paints and um, all that jazz. And then the other ways you can help is by shopping my Amazon shop. And um, for those of you who support me, it means the world to me. It means I can keep doing this, you know? So, okay. This will be so interesting to actually see. How much these fractal. In fact, last year I did a fractal flower garden painting today, um, today last year. And it was one of the coolest paintings I did. Okay, I'm done playing with this right now for you guys. Um, I'm gonna, I just wanna do something else real quick while you're still here. And I'm just gonna show you some of the fractals on this. See, I just wanna see if you can really see them. Are they pretty? Very interesting. 
Thank you, Lulu. Thank you so much. You never know, you guys. This might turn out to be like my favorite painting ever when I see what it looks like dried and then I might be able to embellish it into something amazing. It might be a really cool background for a garden or I don't know. All right, let's do one more while we're here for sure. All right, and since my paints are so thick, this one's a little bit smaller. It is a 16 by 20. My balloon is done. Can you do another one? It deflated. I'm gonna see if I can get. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Here we go. All right. Or would you guys like to see me do? Just start naming stuff off and I'll pick something out of the comments. Ring pour, puddle pour. Uh, we just did a swipe, so please let's not do that again. Uh, I think I have enough paint to do like a little cloudy kind of a pour. Um, Balloon rolls. <laughs> I'm having someone right now. What's a Dutchman's ghost? Is that a trick? Is that a trick? I don't know what a Dutchman's ghost is. Sharon says flip and drag. That sounds fun. Turkey. <laughs> no turkey. I just did a turkey. We don't want to do another turkey. Thank you. Hammer smash. Sometimes if you don't pull that all the way through. Best I could. Well, I have to tie these and when I tie these, I'm trying to figure out my glove situation, you guys. If you want me to do any balloon rolls, I'm in a I'm in a bad way. Like the gloves I have, they don't work very well for tying um into the balloons. Um, we're gonna see. Christina, nice to see you here. Aw. This is, this is possible. We're gonna see what happens here. All right, so gosh, we had so many flip and drag, flip cups, lots of flip cups, open cup. I, my paints are too thick, Bev, for an open cup. Um, multi, multiple traveling ring pour. Oh. Cause Creation says I should do that, a multiple traveling ring pour. Do I mix them thick with a purpose? I think I just mix my paints thicker in general. It's just how I like to have, I feel like I have a lot of more control over my paint, so I just do it that way. Um, a kiss pour might actually, the thing about a kiss pour that might work is I have all of these opposing colors right now. So that might actually be really weird and cool. Um, What's a Dutchman ghost pour? Can someone please explain this to me? A Dutchman ghost pour? Are you guys are you guys messing with me right now? I'm 
trying to figure out if I'm being messed with right now. <laughs> Is it a thing? Are you saying something real? You know what I'm saying? It's a Dutch pour with a ghost swipe. Oh, well, since I'm not familiar with it, that's, that goes right off the list. I have no idea what that is. Look at that giant cup. Hmm. I'm really stuck. I don't know what to do. Like you guys have ever have those nights? I have all these paints and literally trying to figure out what is it that I'm gonna do. I just keep gravitating towards the warm colors because they're just is where I'm at right now. I don't feel like using the greens and the yellows necessarily. Purple, pink, huh. I don't know. Dirty flip cup. I could actually do a, I could, a dirty flip cup sounds like something I haven't done in a long time. We'll do that. We'll do it on a small. Cause that way at least I can keep moving forward. Dirty flip cup. Do whites. I won't use too many browns, but I do have all this brown mixed up, so let's do a little bit of brown. Copper. Orange. Nickel Azo Gold. Yellow. Well, actually, this is Indian Yellow. Actual Gold. I'm going to put like a layer of the actual gold over here. And then let's move into some colors I haven't done yet, like red. Cranberry. How about a little touch of this super bright, I have no idea what it is, fuchsia, I guess, I don't know. It is rose matter color, I think that's like, I don't know, I have no idea what that color is from, truthfully. And then, hi Sharon. All right, here's the dirty flip. We're gonna do a dirty flip cup as requested. This is a giant flip cup. It doesn't have very much paint in it though, does it? should do another round. Well, let's see what happens with this one first. because we can white Let's do the burnt umber chocolate I'm doing these as best as I can remember copper orange 
um, the nickel easel gold, the Indian yellow. I think I did, but I'm almost out of it, so it's not. It's just gonna make a little red. This cranberry, I think I went cranberry then. Oh, I've put gold between all of those colors last time though. So let's add that now. Whoopsie. Here's the rose color. So it's not gonna look the same because clearly I just didn't do it all like I was like I liked the last one. I think more white. And then Um, of that. This is a big flip cup, you guys. I'm actually going to move this over just slightly. Let's just see. Really pretty. I don't want to lose all that pink. All right. Night, Julie. Sorry, I did not notice. Lisa, you're having an auction? Thank you. Intense um, situation over there. This, whew, sorry, I did not know that was going to come out that fast. All right, now we're going to try to get some of the chocolate on here that we missed earlier. This is just the paint I have left, so I might as well use it. Did it hurt? Yeah. I know it hurts, huh? Okay. Yeah, we might lose some of this pink here, but I like the I like where this is going in terms of the composition. It's really, it's really neat. So it does give a little bit of negative space right there, which I don't do very often. moving it up so it's kind of a third of the canvas is okay here we go that's pretty now <clears throat> this part over here
kind of inclined to cover some of that up just to leave some true negative space there. Thank you, Christina. Aww. Christina, I'm using some of your paints tonight. We're using the shimmer, uh, the chocolate shimmer. That's all this um, brown that you're seeing. That's Christina Welsh's paint, you guys, and it's really pretty. This has a, like a very light chocolate, or a very light shimmer to it. Not super heavy metallic or anything, but it's really pretty. And also the yellow that I used earlier, that is um, her yellow. Very beautiful. Oh, gosh. All right. So I'm going to do just a tiny little bit of something right over here. Just to incorporate these two together. Probably balloon rolls because... I think it will look pretty, but I love all the ethereal lines of this. It's very like Neapolitan, <laughs> I think. It looks very Neapolitan. Very dynamic. See a little tiny bit of paint right there. Okay. And let me add this corner is missing some of the chocolate brown. And make sure that all has it. Thanks for joining me tonight, you guys. Thanks for coming. I'm really happy you're here. And as I finish this painting, I want to encourage you to um, support the channel if you just got here. Um, thank you, Lori. It is important to support the channel, support your favorite artists. There's ways you can do it that don't cost you any money, too. So don't forget that if you're, you know, thinking, oh, what can I do? Well, watch, share. Um, sharing is, a bit, actually sharing the videos is, like on Facebook, that's one of the best things you can do. Because then you have the power behind you to take their video viral, which will bring a ton of support to their channel. All right, sorry, I needed to get some of that extra paint off there. And now I'm gonna bring it back a little bit where it was. Thank you, Moose Crazy. A moosh crazy flowing canvas, she says. This is an interesting, I love the bottom part of this, too. Let's see if I can just get that right in there. That's a pretty painting. Now, that's a 70s painting I can get behind right here. Lisa, thank you so much. You know, the, ins the experimentation, some people, I don't know, I hope people enjoy it. Man, I almost don't want to do anything through this, uh, anything else to this. I'm, I'm kind of loving it, <laughs> truthfully. Gosh, it's really pretty, isn't it? I could definitely do balloon rolls and, um, you know, we could try doing a few of those. I just like the design a lot. Um, all right, I'm gonna do, for D&D &D Gallery who asked for balloon rolls, I'm gonna do some, just a few. Let me cut my gloves off. We're having glo issues with my gloves right now. I probably went through five gloves today trying to get my balloon rolls to happen, but. Here we go. Okay. I like it the way it is too. So for those of you who are sad, I'm gonna add a few little balloon rolls, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna see what I can do. I'm not gonna overdo it. I think this one is pretty. I love the flow of it and I'm not gonna overdo the flow. I'm just gonna add 
a few little Um, there, that that means there's so much paint on there that it wouldn't show the balloon roll. There's no way. There's just too much paint on there. So let me move my tray out of the way. I'll probably have to take a little bit of that paint off there. Um, well, first I'll do it like this. And so that's what I do. I just lift this up on here and it'll just keep taking it off. My balloon takes just the top layer off and the top layer off and the top layer off. And then eventually the top layer is thinner. Aw. Never apologize for what I do. Well, I think I want to make people happy. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's an inherent trait of probably my personality, truthfully. I hate it when people are mad at me. It's always been that way ever since I was a little girl. I hated people being upset. I'm also an empath, so I can feel when people are upset. Um, and so then I consequently feel it. Like I feel when they're hurting. I feel when they're upset and I get really upset. And you know, I'm a very sensitive human that way. All right, so again, I'm just taking some of the paint off here. So when I deposit, um, I'm showing you where I'm going to put the balloon rolls, though. But so when I deposit it, will it'll actually the white will actually stay. Yeah, that, the problem is, too, if you take off too much, then you don't pull any colors through um, the paint, your, your balloon roll. So I'm going to, thank you, Cheryl. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. Lori, thank you so much. Christina, <laughs> you have a puppy? <laughs> don't you know that's puppy life right there is like, Little babies and puppy they're babies. Babies are a pain. They babies are a pain in the butt in terms of sleep. There's no rest for babe for, for puppy owners and new parents. Alright, let's try this again. Just wanted to get you in a little closer so you could see what's going on here. Um, so this one is pretty, but actually it would be so much prettier if I could just add some of the colors um, on my tray. So I'm going to do that. And the way I do that, for those of you who haven't seen, I'm sure you do. If I add a little bit of white, um, although in this case there's already a lot of white on there, I add a little bit of white, and then I'll take one of the colors like this one that I might want to showcase or um you know what might be fun on here is a pop of a color that's not in the painting so like what about this cornflower color it might sometimes it's fun to just bring in a color that isn't in the painting and it draws your eye towards it um, To try that again maybe not those two colors maybe maybe I'll do the, like the periwinkle and teal would be pretty I don't have any left but I think that turquoise I have is gone let me look Oh, I have a little bit left in here, just a tiny bit. See if I can get enough of it up here. So, yeah, I mean, I might be ruining this painting right now. Who knows? <laughs> Sometimes 
you know, you try things and the painting was perfect already and and then you just ruined it, but you know. Now, I like the teal a lot, and I don't like the Night Angela. I'm not in love with this cranberry one right here. So, if I have one balloon roll I really don't like, I can almost just, I'm just kind of scraping it up with my balloon. I'll just keep scraping it until it's just really bare canvas right there. And then, my only thing is I have to add some of the chocolate brown back in. So that's basically what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to add, well, we'll just have to use some of this, this one right here, a little bit of the chocolate, and then I'm going to do a little bit of this, and just a dash of this little cornflower color, some of the white. I kind of find like the more random the pattern is, the actually, the better it looks. Seems to be the way. It's pretty. I like the blue pop because what's, you know, it draws your eye to that place. And, um, and then something that would be really fun is to take the blue and draw it through the painting like uh, upon embellishments or something. I'm gonna put three, four, five, I'm gonna put two more flowers on here because I like five, I like sets of five. So let me take some of this brown off. Here, I'm gonna put it right there and right here. And then I'll do that again. Well, we're almost ready to say goodnight, you guys. So if you haven't watched my last video, will you go watch it? Because I just think it's such it was such a relaxing and beautiful video to do if you haven't watched it you gotta see it and next Friday I may be here for my live I have to I'm gonna see if I might take a catering event but I'm not sure I haven't decided yet fully these are like little actually I'm gonna put you know, it kind of makes me think like I should put them all the way up to the corner. So that's what I'm going to do before we go. Because they almost look like little butterflies or something. And that would just be really pretty to take it up to the corner like this. Do it two more times. Do you watch it twice? Ah. All right, here we go. I kind of like the whimsy of that one going off in the other direction. Bye, Lisa. And then here's this one. I'm going to have it going off in the, in the direction of the corner as well. And what I mean by going off in the direction, like wherever the pointed part is of the balloon roll, is the part that I'm going to have. So... Almost like I 
I'm gonna back out so you guys can see the whole thing. And then now that, oh no, those pens are out of stock. How depressing. I'm sorry. You know, they send me stuff and then sometimes I don't use it for a while. I think I've had those for a little while and I have to be kind of inspired to use it, so. But it's also Christmas, you know, and that's probably part of it too. All right, let me take you out. I'm gonna scoot you out so you can see the whole thing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm so glad I chose to do the um, blue in there. It really, and I think when I embellish this, let me bring you down. I think when I embellish this, I'm gonna be able to First of all, here's the whole thing. Isn't that pretty? And then when I embellish, I think I'm gonna probably take that blue and just bring it down into this other area somehow. Like these little flowers, these little corn silk blue flowers just floating. a lot of gold like a little gold ghost line right there is really pretty thank you for all that you guys do Ooh, look at that part right there pretty I can't wait to embellish this one you guys I'm really excited about it thank you so much for being here with me happy Friday night to each and every one of you. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you coming, supporting my channel. Thank you so much and much love. I will try to see you next Friday and that's it. You guys have a beautiful night. Thank you for coming. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.